I remember we were in the garden and the sky was getting darker. And we were looking over towards the hills and we could see smoke. We weren't getting any alerts on our phones, so we didn't think that we had to worry about it. And then a neighbour came round to verbally say, you've got to go. One thing that I learned is that you really can't rely on just communications technology. You really have to have a backup plan or other things in place. Power is generally the first thing to go out. So once we lose our power, we lose our phone service. Without service, you can't make that call that you need to make. In my emergency kit, I have a AM FM radio, battery operated, so that we can still get our information from the emergency services. You need to pack clothes. You don't know when you can come back. So you might be away for two days, you might be away for a week plus. We have cash in there for if the power goes out, then you can't use any FBOS machines, you can't use your cards. So you still need cash, you still need to buy groceries, especially if you're away from home. And we also have a few UHF handheld battery operated radios to communicate with each other on the property while we're getting ready to evacuate. So you have to just be prepared for any situation and have different options. For more information, visit www.infrastructure.gov.au forward slash stand.